In the United States, the 4th of July is when we celebrate Independence Day. I, for one, am grateful to live in a country where we are blessed to enjoy so many freedoms. Many of those freedoms coming at the sacrifice of those who serve this country and all of the good things we enjoy coming from the sovereign hand of a gracious God. While we celebrate the founding of this country, as Christians, we are to remember that we are in the world, but not of it. Many of us are citizens of the United States, but much more than that, every person who has put their faith in Jesus Christ for his imputed righteousness and for the forgiveness of our sins in order to be made right with God is a citizen of heaven. As such, Jesus Christ is our Savior, our God, and our King. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31 reminds us that whatever we do, we are to do it all for the glory of God. This is the duty of every follower of Christ, those who have died to our old sinful, self-seeking nature, and now who live in Christ seeking His will and glory instead of our own. As we do this, 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31 is a great litmus test. We can constantly be asking ourselves, is what I am doing for the glory of God or is it for me? Am I seeking His will or am I seeking my own? One way we can ask this fits right in with Independence Day. We can ask ourselves, Are we acting independently of God? We shouldn't be. John 15 verse 5 reminds us of our complete and utter dependence upon Him. It says, I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me, Jesus says, and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Apart from God, apart from Jesus Christ, we can do nothing. We may be tempted to consider ourselves independent, able to do whatever we want, whenever we want. Or perhaps we see ourselves as independent in the sense that we can do it all on our own, or that no one can tell us what to do. But let us remember who we are and who God is. Let us remember that and be encouraged because God is the best person to be dependent upon, for He is always faithful and He never fails. Heavenly Father, as we celebrate our Independence Day, help us to remember our dependence upon you and our need as sinners for a Savior from that sin, Jesus Christ. Help us to remember that apart from you we can do nothing, but with you all things are possible. Please abide in us and help us to abide in you so that we might bear much fruit for your kingdom and your glory. Thank you, Lord, in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. I'd like to take this quick moment to thank you for listening. If you are encouraged or built up, edified by what it is we're doing, please like, comment, and subscribe. It's a great way to support what we do. Along with videos like this one, we also have videos on our YouTube channel, including a Bible study series. We're going through the book of Matthew right now, where we study verse by verse what the Bible says and break it down. You're even able to follow along with us and download one of our Bible study sheets that we keep on our website. It's the same exact sheet that we use in our study in the church ourselves. We hope resources like that are useful to you, and we just like passing that kind of stuff along. We hope to hear from you. I hope you have a great day. God's grace and peace be with you.